just want to show you another way how to um, reconcile payments if you have made yeah, a bulk payment of multiple invoices from the one supplier. So um, I'd highly suggest using the batch payment method because it does just keep things cleaner. Um, but this other way can be handy um, even if you, like it can go both ways. So even if you have received money um, from a client uh, and it, like they've paid, decided to pay two or three invoices in the one in the one go. Um, obviously, it won't go green uh, like this. You'll have to manually select the three invoices that it matches to. So um, I'm in a demo company again, so it won't work exactly how I plan for it to work. Um, but you can see here. Um, okay, this is a really good example. So. Smart Agency has, um, we have paid Smart Agency $4,500. Obviously that pertains to two separate invoices because we can see here, there's an invoice here and an invoice here and they match that amount. So um, that's all you have to do rather than, um, yeah, marking things as paid as you pay them, which that's okay to do because it's a good way to keep track of it. Um, so once you've paid it, mark it as paid, but then yeah, you need to come into your dashboard here and uh, find the transactions that uh, match that amount. Um, so in this case, there's an amount for 2000 and 2500 that makes 4500 um, and all we have to do is click OK for that one. Um, another thing you can do is uh, what's the best way to explain this? If we've got an amount here that we've received, um, let's say a client, yeah, okay, they've paid us two thousand dollars, but it's a deposit for let's say it's a deposit for this Ridgeway University. So what we can do is click on that split button and do a part payment of $2,000. And then we can see that they've got $4,187 remaining on that invoice there. And we just go split and you can see that's green to reconcile. So that's good, yeah, for part payments or deposits uh, and it can go both ways as well. So if you've got an invoice um, to pay that you need to put a deposit down on, you can do use that split payment feature if the uh, supplier has given you the invoice with the full amount on it. Uh, so that's a good way to keep track of things that way. All right, I think that's it for this um, little helpful video. So I'll leave you guys there.